Welcome to my PHPF PDF tutorial video. In this video, I will explain about how to use QR code in FPDF. Unlike with the barcode, here we are using standalone PHP QR code generator library. So we need to download the PHP QR code generator first, I've put the link in the description. Then extract it into your directory alongside the FPDF library directory. Then you can access that directory from web browser to see the QR code example. For more detailed explanation about QR code, please refer to Wikipedia. This library will generate QR code as an PNG image file. The resulted image can be presented directly as an image file or saved into a directory. In this example, we will use both tricks. Now let's make a QR code generator for our needs. Prepare a new PHP file, name it qr underscore generator dot php. We need to include the qrlib file. This file will include the files needed for the qr generation. Then we can call QR code class instance. PNG method of QR code class will create a QR code as a PNG image file. The first parameter is the QR content. You can put either string or number there. Then open that file in browser. You will get an image of QR code. The browser will recognize the QR underscore generator file as an image file. If you want to show this QR code in HTML file, you can put this URL as SRC parameter of an IMG tag. Now let's try to scan it using online QR code generator, to make sure that this is a valid QR code. Good, it seems our QR is readable by QR code scanner. Let's make the content more dynamic by using HTTP GET parameter. Now we have a multi-purpose QR code generator. Next, let's make the PDF file. You can watch the previous chapters for the basics if you haven't done so. Now let's add the content. Here we use fpdf image method to load an image into pdf. Use the URL as the image source.
As you can see here, we've got an error. This is because FPDF did not determine the image type by its metadata, but the file extension instead. So it determined the image is in PHP image file, which is not supported. Even though the image is a proper PNG file, we need to add PNG as sixth parameter to image method to determine the image type. Now the QR code is displayed properly. You can simply change the URL parameter to get different QR code. You can also change the dimension and the position of the QR code in the page. With this trick, you have a multi-purpose generator which you can use in different application. But make sure to use some filtering to the HTTP parameter to prevent someone abusing your QR generator. Now for the next trick. Instead of making a multi-purpose generator, we just generate the QR code, save it into a file, then load the image at runtime. Adding a second parameter to PNG method of QR code will save the resulting image into a file in that name. This method is safer from abuse, but complicated, and unreliable if accessed simultaneously because every time it runs, the image will be replaced with a new one. And as every session use the same PNG file, this can lead to inconsistency in the QR code. To avoid that, you should store the result of each session into a different file name. And don't forget to clean up afterwards so it won't bloat your storage. Now let's try to add QR code to our previously made invoices. This conclude this chapter of FPDF tutorial series. Thank you for watching. Please kindly support me by liking my videos and subscribing this channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.